Welcome to the first Slabman Trials. This time, your designs will face the original Slabman design, which I wasn't very happy with, but anyways. You are most welcome to Jimmy SM Total Notary Channel, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the Slabman Challenge. So, do excuse me very much for not putting out too many videos this uh, week. Um, had some stuff going on. So, I've been taking it a little bit easy with that. But, of course, uh, the Slabman Challenge is, of course, still online. And all my series, no, 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 none of the series I'm doing on the channel in general, you know, has been cancelled. It's just, um, it's just, you know... It's uh, as it is. In any case, we're back with the Slabman Challenge. I want to give out a special thanks to our patrons, most notable, most, most notably, Commander Region, Lieutenant Asteria, Lieutenant Powered by Greed, Talaras, and LCG Canyon. And of course, our YouTube members, Elevated Gymnast, Halofo, and Yudistra Arcana, and Stellar Gymnast. LCG Canyon Sahad. Thanks a lot for supporting this channel. It really helps me very much. So we are back with the Slab Man Challenge, and of course, uh, this little first episode, we are going to pitch the original Slab Man, which is definitely not this thing, but the thing we saw before over there. Poor thing. That will face your designs. Here we have setups, also known as E Lord. The man behind the Turtle Lords. Uh, Slabman Stritzjacht. Seal Clubber. Is this thing called? That's a Seal Clubber. Poor thing. Don't club seals. That's kind of evil. I must say. In any case. That's weird. This game is weird. In any case. This is the Stritzjacht. Uh, which is the winner of the design challenge. If you didn't see episode zero, you should definitely see episode zero where we walk through and check out all the very, 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 very cool designs and parts of this thing. And this beautiful design, by the way, you can download on Workshop. Um, so you just have to go to Workshop and download this, uh, this ship. So, Setup has posted this on the workshop, it's downloadable, it already has 100 and something, uh, a lot of downloads, because it's a beautiful build, the Army of Gymnasium Stritzjacht. So, uh, of course, we're going to pitch the original Slabman versus the Stritzjacht and the Seal Clubber. And we're going to see what happens. So, without further ado, I've already wasted three minutes of your time. So, we're going to get into this battle and see what happens here. What is going on here? That's a lot of colors. Alright, so the, the Stritzjacht is having some real confetti spray. The Seal Clubber has some real confetti spray here. The Seal Clubber... Oh! You know... Let me uh, <laughs> let me dive into the rules a quick second. Yeah, so there we go. Uh, basically, we have s I had some rules set up that you can't be above a certain altitude, but I kind of forgot about our sub objects. <laughs> <clears throat> so we got uh, disqualification points there. Whoa, that's some weird colors. Okay, so these these railgun things fire weird colors. That's very interesting. So basically this first little round we're going to pitch all the designs that has been submitted which is a lot of them against the original Slabman and we're gonna see what happens. Um, the Seal Clubber is still online. Ooh, what's happening there? Wow, okay. Confetti is really closing in here. I do feel that my helicopter It's good for I mean it would have been really sad if it didn't have the have these shields <laughs> Okay, okay our cockpit is a little bit blasted away here 
but we seem to be uh, we seem to be uh, wait a minute are you absolutely it feels like it shoots those rockets I don't know man I think I kind of forgot about updating the helicopter to the newer version so there is that and this thing is like not giving a damn about about this nuisance in the sky here that helicopter blade looks weird it's like the seal clubber's helis is just standing still there slabman have a cruiser uh versus stritsjach they have the similar percentage so which one is better in the battlefield that's a good question we do know which is the best looking thing but ooh, wow so these these uh, guns on the side here looking pretty cool these are actually diff guns and they shoot apparently at incoming cram shots bam um, her mortars are really raining down here they are dangerous yeah but basically they are just shooting at incoming uh, cram shells. Uh, if it, if it wouldn't have some crams going on there, it would actually target um, the ship itself. Right. Very interesting. So it seems that it, for some reason, docked. Why did it dock? They're really far away. Slabman, oh no! Something happened to the original Slabman heavy cruiser. What is going on here? What is going on? This is strange. Whoa. Why is it? What is happening though? This is like the strangest thing ever. It's like popping off sections. This one is eating a. I don't understand this because it didn't get disqualified, did it? If it would have been. This is a mystery, man. I don't know what's happening here. It is despawning. Oh, did it did it get AI killed? It must have been got an AI killed or something. Yeah, well, um, that happened. So and this docked again for some reason. I don't know. I'm so tired of my slab man. So we, uh, we're not going to rerun this battle or anything to get uh, understand what happened here. I don't know. I have my theories, but I really don't know. So there we have it, uh, the original Slabman did indeed lose against the uh, setups Stritzjacht. And we will, we will pitch the best designs against each other in a, ki in a kind of dual uh, elimination tournament as we usually do. So don't worry about that. Well, I'm happy to see that uh, setups Slabman Stritzjacht did indeed win this little battle because it looks such amazing thing remember to go to the description or to steam workshop and download this thing because it's absolutely stunning to walk inside well congratulations uh set up you won the first little battle against the original slab man so let's move on and next up we have nova galaxy's coastal attack barge it does not have a sub-object, but wow, man, it's... Oh, I think I, I, it remains the original um, the original cram system is going on there. Some of the turrets are still left there, so it go, it's going to be pretty interesting to see how this little battle develops. Now th something is lagging a little bit. The original Slabman is actually in the lead here, but only slightly. 
Mm. The missiles of the original slab man seems to not go through. The uh, the coastal attack barge <clears throat> um, uh, lambs. They could really have been set up better though. And that's for sure. <clears throat> and it seems that... Does it shoot against those tiny incoming shells? It really looks like it does. What's going on here? <laughs> what are those? That's some weird custom missiles. I haven't, I haven't played around with, uh, I haven't played around with making custom missiles yet. These look absolutely demonic. All right, well, we're, we're just gonna, we're just gonna let them be. All right. A lot is happening here, that's for sure. A little bit laggy, that's for sure too. The original Slabman is actually still in the lead here. Let's see what it's going on here. It doesn't have any major damage yet, does it? All of the main gun turret seems to be online still. The anti-missile missiles, they're kind of meeting each other, it feels like. Oh my god, that's so many anti-missile missiles, that's just insane. So that's why we have bad FPS, <clears throat> if you were wondering. We seem to have some slight maneuverability problems here. Who knows? We also have some slow motion, because something seems to have taken damage. And Nova Galaxy's attack barge is actually in the lead now. It seemed to have dealt some type of damage there. Now the helicopter is indeed untouched. Welp. Who knows? These sound pretty evil, don't they? Like the distance is pretty extreme. <clears throat> it's like so few of the shots are actually getting through here. And now the, oh, I do think the, the mortars are starting to, oh my God, look at that. The mortars are starting to get through. But yeah. And you're like just above. <clears throat> well, we we see we have entered degraded mood. We can see we're dropping some uh, some stuff here and there, back and forth. And the lambs are zapping those mortars. Yeah. Now I don't know what Nova Galaxy's coastal attack barge slab man is trying to do but I can say that these types of maneuvers will make it risk of being disqualified like it's running away you know where I think it might be trying to switch sides but if it runs away and increases uh, no it turns oh no it's running away, okay. Uh, if it reaches more than a certain distance, it will actually gain some disqualification points because as we always do with our rules, you can't run away from the battlefield. That's not a valid method. And of course, it's not even set up to battle in this angle. So it looks like, it's, it looks like there is being some mistakes here in the AI maneuverability. <clears throat> if not, it's um, it's just malfunctioning. Oh my god, that's some big explosions. 
I did kind of forget we had missiles um, on this thing. I can't actually remember exactly what I put on the slab, man. Um, <clears throat> I will say that. But I looked a pretty, like a pretty big missile, though. Yeah, it feels like it's continuing to running away there. That's not so good. How is the slab man doing over there? It continues to spray. Here we go. We can follow these missiles a little bit here. And since we are behind, Nova Galaxy's coastal attack barge is trying to get away from here. Now this particular one missed, but we did some damage there. This is a big, big cram. But it can't get around to shoot. <clears throat> well. That ain't very good at all. For Nova Galaxy, that is. Well, let's follow these guys then. We're in space. This takes time. Ooh, look, friends. We have reached the uh, zenith. And the AOG artillery is closing in. And the helicopter has started to gain disqualification points. And the, uh, well, they just got absolutely deleted. Oh, I got a couple of large missiles there. I kind of forgot about them. Okay, I don't know what the helicopter is doing. Let me see here. Where, where, where is it at? Ah. It has submerged itself. But why? It's not even particularly damaged. It's not supposed to do that. Well, that's weird. Uh, in any case, um. Oh, it gained. Oh, it got DQ'd. Poor thing. Wonder why it went there. <clears throat> And Nova Galaxy's coastal attack barge is really getting its ass handed to itself here. You know, since it turned its aft towards us and it gets um, a lot of missiles. Well, that's not too good for it. Good it has some uh, shields though, otherwise it would have been quite wrecked by now, by now I reckon. Well, uh, the original Slabman is uh, still in the lead here, despite losing its helicopter to uh, rule disqualification. Slow bow though. I can't remember this cram firing recently. One, two. Oh, it fired into the water. It really looks like Nova Galaxy's detection is quite off now. Um, yeah, <clears throat> well. This is probably a Zeus cannon. Yeah, and that Zeus cannon is doing a pretty good job at keeping those missiles off. Which is quite needed. And here we go. It's like this thing is changing targets a little bit too often. Oh no. Yeah, the like it does it doesn't have any idea on how to hit the target. I think we EMP'd away the detection probably. Here comes the missiles. No, they got shot down. The um, original slab man isn't looking too fresh either, does it? This is definitely too behemoth of one million 
having a proper slugfest, uh, it's gonna be pretty even in any case. Like, yeah, pretty hardcore battle this one thing, yes? Oh. Ooh, missiles go through. Is the Civ's system down, perhaps? Does it exist anymore? Oh no, the kinetic Civ system is indeed down, and that does explain quite a lot, I'd say. There is basically a 10% difference in the ships now. The total health of those two ships. So it's not looking too great for Nova Galaxy's coastal attack barge at all now. It really looks like it's going to not do very well at all. And it has only been seven minutes in game battle. Where this? Look, it seems that the mortar has kind of dealt with all the detection systems that were on this uh, rubber insulation thing. Mm. You know, Nova, you don't need to have rubber in the corners. The corners are not connecting, so you only need one in front, behind, left and right and under to be completely insulated. You don't need to have it all around like that. If you like to have some more health points, that is. Right, we're gonna see how this goes, but uh, I'm actually betting that the original Slabman will indeed defeat Nova Galaxy's coastal attack barge. And I will say this, uh, the double elimination, um, I think that it, or it will only be eligible for the peop for the ships that can beat the original Slabman, because a ship that can't beat the original Slabman like this, uh, except it's just like extremely unlucky somehow. But I I say it's a pretty low chance. It's like big big ships like this. Um, so. Ships that are defeated by the original Slabman will not be uh, popping up again. So, you know, it's, you know, we may think it's a tiny little bit unfair or something like that, that it's single elimination, but I kind of feel like the, the total like outline of this challenge is to beat the Slabman heavy cruiser. And if it can't beat the Slabman in this little first, Iteration, well, then we can't drag it through the double elimination because, uh, you know, it's basically failed already. So, if Nova Galaxy can't beat the Slabman's, uh, my original Slabman, during this little battle, we won't see it in the next battle uh, when we pitch the ships against each other. Well, it is looking pretty nice while um, battling. And a very interesting thing about the coastal attack barge is that a lot of the weapon systems are whoa, are actually um, the old uh, systems, like these front weapon systems, um, like diff guns and. Uh, as well as these uh, cram mortars and you know these cram mortars they they fire pretty quickly they're just like bam 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 very fast but they're actually pretty efficient i kind of uh, underestimated how good these cram mortars would be don't seem to do very much damage but on the other hand lots of people are not really defending the uh, deck armor or the deck of the ships at all because so few people use these well, in any case, that uh, the attack barge is down to 75%. We're gonna see how this battle continues. Like, what's happening here? This cannon... Like, a lot of the tourists are just straight up dead. Oh, there goes another one. Oh, no! I feel that's supposed to be Doom Cram, so it's really sad it missed there. Yeah, 
Probably so. And here comes oh. oh well, most of the uh, most of them go through there. Seems that the uh, this little cannon here they're actually trying to help help with uh, Civ's duty too. Comes another cram shot. It did go through, but not too much damage were dealt there. The slabmans are going really low though. A storm is coming, it seems. We're having some bad weather. Look at that. 70%. It's not looking too good for Nova Galaxy during this little tournament here. This slabman version seems to indeed be very 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 defeated very soon i love how how some of these like cram mortar shells get deflected on the surface of the armor and then just fall into a hole and explode inside <laughs> it's pretty funny well it seems that indeed we have to conclude that nova galaxy does indeed not defeat the original slab man and i'd say like this that if a particular ship is not able to defeat the original slab man 100 of the times i think it's extremely unlikely it would be able to defeat all the other versions of the slab man so um we will have to conclude that Nova Galaxy's XCA Coastal Attack Barge refit of the Heavy Cruiser Slabman is indeed not superior to the original design and has thus been losing this battle. And there comes the missiles and it, it doesn't shoot back anymore. It's uh... Oh! It actually does shoot back. Well, then we have to see if anything changes. But mainly for the sake of it. I mean, I think we all see how this battle is going. Man, it's shedding blocks like, I don't know. And here comes the missiles again. Poor thing. Well, this ain't looking too fresh either. It's almost starting to submarine a little bit, doesn't it? Man, this thing is barely floating. It's like keeping some parts above water, but man, look at that. It's all <laughs> it's almost sinking and it's only it's only been damaged less than 10%. I mean, come on. Yeah, I'm not very happy about this design. Uh, that has to be said. Well, at least the AOG Dome 67mm guns, they're pretty nice, I like them. Well, okay, uh, Nova, sorry, um, main gun has been lost, it officially doesn't have anything with any kind of teeth left and it's 5% left from being disqualified from only material limits. So, the original Slapman Heavy Cruiser is winning this battle, which means we'll need to go through and watch the next battle instead and see but anyways good try and uh, thanks for the submission and we're back with the next battle and it will be against slab and pizza summer 8305 which is one of the best looking designs of them all it does kind of look like a nerf gun doesn't it 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 looks it looks exactly like a nerf gun this entire thing but it's also super cool and uh, i just think this design looks very nice ew does didn't this thing have a nuke though wait i need to lo i need to locate that thing there we have it so it somehow fell into the water we're gonna see if this thing is able to no 
It just sits there. Okay, it missed its mark somehow. Well, it's probably gonna stay there then. The helicopter seems to be pretty sad. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, the Slabman Pizza Summoner has uh, indeed used some pretty hefty cram systems there to really make sure it's, uh, it's in the lead there. So 92 percentages indeed, okay. What are these? Is that anti-missile missiles or are these dealing damage is the question. Bam! Interesting indeed. Yeah, that's some scary cram barrages. They may look like nerf guns, but they are nothing but this shot here. Bam, that's a lot of cram shots. We have crams too, but weak ones. Look at these. Nerfing us to oblivion. Well, we still got our mortars, but man, this design looks so cool. I like this thing a lot. It's very cool. Ooh, are we having are we having wooden wedges here in the front to kind of aim point? Is that some kind of low key aim point spoofing? Might be. Who knows? How are we doing in this wonderful cockpit here with all the wires and stuff like that? Who knows? The engine mechanic is uh, away. Well, if you haven't seen that, watch episode zero for some careful walkthrough of all the ships. It's pretty interesting. Bam! The original slab man down to 80% here. Somehow, most of the cannons are still online. Somehow. But probably not for long. The helicopter has DQ'd itself. I kind of missed that. Miss Isl is sitting in the water, being not dangerous at all. I guess that's just the, the first little... was a little bit misfire. But I do think that Slabman's Pizza Summer... Um, well, or Pizza Summer Slabman will probably appear in future battles because um, I kind of don't believe this will lose that this battle because it's like 30 oh yeah it's 30% in lead yeah it it basically almost already won man and how are the missiles that come in here are we able to take him out? No, it's actually not. But it doesn't matter so much. These sandblastings are... I don't know wh what they are trying to blast, because it's like shooting at the sky. But whatever. The original Slabman is down to 52 percentages, so it has already lost indeed. Congratulations, Pizza Summoners! Your Slabman is much superior and probably one of the, or it is, one of the best looking ones too. Nerf gun glory. Let's move on. Next up we have Bartilomius. Bartilomius, a troller-like heavy cruiser thing. It's less decorated. Um, I think that Bartilomius does not have his fleet color setup because we can see there's some patches where blocks has been replaced and stuff like that in any case it's looking pretty powerful um, it has a more basic and functional design but I must say it looks pretty powerful but oh my god it's actually not in the lead though it's indeed not at all in the lead here 
it's being blasted a little bit. The helicopter has already disqualified itself somehow. Interesting. Ew, and now we have some crams here. All right, we need to we need to see how these crams pop in here. Bam, bam, bam. More shooting for the superstructure there. Yeah, well, that's gone. That's goners. Probably not the best area to shoot at, but uh, not bad either. The sandblasting is going on here. We have some uh, flash suppressors there too, so they probably want to increase the risk uh, or decrease the risk of lime shooting them down <clears throat> but they seem to be pretty doomy oh my god what is that that's so funny i never seen a lamb periscope system like that that's super funny okay wow <laughs> and there's so much detection that's too funny man okay that's cool i like that idea it looks it looks creepy, I must say, but it's it's awfully functional. It's like dystopian alien technology thing. Looks, they look creepy. What is it with these things? They look so creepy. Well, they work pretty well. They seem to be working pretty well. All right, whoops. Nope. Okay. Lamb seems to be pretty strong though. We're gonna follow these cram shells here. And yes, indeed, the lambs are not able to take them out, but they're not too able to hit either. Well, it's gonna be very interesting to see if Baritolomeus, a troller like Heavy Cruiser, will beat the original slab man or not. I did do some basic upgrades to this lab man, but of course nothing proper at all. It's still pretty, you know, I'm not happy with it. But I have also been improving my game a lot. I have been uh, developing my skills a lot, a lot. So a year ago, I would probably think that uh, this particular slab man was a pretty good one. That has to be said. This will be the last battle for this uh, episode too. So we're gonna see how this goes. Uh, and we're gonna be back next time. With another where we go through the entire lineup. And pitch them against the original uh, Slab Man indeed. And see how that goes. They are raining down. Oh my god look at that. Neither of them go through. That's pretty funny. And it didn't have any hole to fall through either. Somehow, Bartolomeus Crawler is taking a lot of damage still. The original Slab Man is actually slightly in the lead here, even though its helicopter has been DQ'd. Interesting indeed. Well. Trying to follow one of these shots here. One of the guns are offline, yes. But most of the guns seems to be pretty fine, actually. And these missiles... They are not... Oh, some of them are actually going through there. Those large missiles are a little bit dangerous. And uh, our cram system is not strong or anything like that, but there's still no joke. That has to be that has to be uh, remembered for sure. So Bartolomeus is trying to do some maneuvers. This is like the funniest azipods I ever seen. <laughs> Should really add to some maneuverability, but I do think that he should have used some maneuvers to line up the different sides to get better cram shots there. But I must say that the maneuverability of the troller is pretty good. And as I said in the episode zero, it looks like this is like a ship you would use to park other ships. 
because it's extreme maneuverability. But this time that it takes to maneuver around is really a lot of lost DPS time too. Let's see here. Are the cram cannons? Oh, they're lining up here. Whoa, we're getting some good shots there, aren't we? Bam. Wow. Wow, 89. That dealt so much damage when it actually lined up to face the enemy there. Face us, I should say. Oh, and it's lining up here. Maybe it can turn it around, actually. <clears throat> it's not impossible. Seems like our slabman is actually almost trying to escape the battlefield a little bit here. Bam! And if we run away from the battlefield, we're gonna disqualify ourselves. Somehow, Bartolomeus is wanting to line up and point its other side to the enemy again? For us? Why? Indeed, why? I mean, it is maneuverable, but it's not that maneuverable. But it's moving around in a weird way, so it seems to be a little bit hard for the mortars to actually... <clears throat> Um, hit it since it's kind of hard to calculate how it's going to move. Mm -hmm. And now, oh, is it going? I wonder if it has a timer to kind of move between the different sides to line up towards the enemy or against the enemy to kind of make sure that the crams are actually reloaded each time. These lamp systems are really cool, but the maneuvers of the trawler seems to not be top notch really. Okay. Most, like only one of the domes are actually online now. The APS main gun is online though, which is dealing damage consistently. The cram motors are online. It seems actually that the original Slabman does have slightly better redundancy. It feels like Bartolomeus is maneuvering itself away. It's like outmaneuvering itself, somehow. And here we go. Cram lineup. Think they're going to, oh yes. Are they going to fire? One shot only? And it didn't do too much damage, did it? If I would suggest something to but to the Meus to improve this trawler like heavy cruiser that would actually be to put all the armor on one side and all the all the guns on one side basically make it a one-sider because it would have so much damage potential lining up much more shots here because right now it actually looks like Bartolomeus doesn't actually defeat the original Slabman either and I do think some of the issue is that the original Slabman has some EMP damage and you can see that this cram cannon is not active which means its weapon computer is probably fried. So even though the cram systems are still there and they may be very well built and very dangerous, um, they are not properly EMP insulated the weapon computer and that means that we can just do some minor EMP damage and just get rid of this entire thing. Which is very sad for Bartilomeus, but well, what can we say? That happens, that happens. Good try anyway, while this battle is not decided already. Uh, I'm kind of saying this already because um, Bartilomeus is just not dealing damage anymore.
This looks pretty cool though. <laughs> and now the lamb system seems to be a little bit weakened. They don't really do much against the incoming shells at all. And missiles? Well, some actually go through. But not that one. Yeah, well, we're going to watch this spell to the end to just make sure that we get proper results. But I, ha I can't see much damage being dealt from Bartholomew. So, if nothing changes, I will indeed just say that good try, Bartholomew. But a troller like Heavy Cruiser does indeed not beat the original Slabman Heavy Cruiser at all. So, what can we say? It's it's just it just doesn't really cut it, does it? But in any case, thanks a lot for the submission. Uh, we will be back next week um, with more Slabman battles where we're going to pitch these ships against the original design to see if they indeed come with an improved design in any way. But I will say to you, thanks a lot for watching this little episode. Sorry for not uh, been posting in a little while. But do remember to keep me posted in the comments on what video you want to see next so that I kind of know what I should or should not prioritize. Uh, and if you really miss me very much, you can always check out Gmodism Relaxation where we actually play Plants vs. Zombies from 2009 in a little relaxing fashion. Can be a little bit fun, check that out and see if you enjoy that or not and you can still get a tiny little bit of Gmodism dose there. And together with not making videos really properly, I haven't made too many streams either, so I can't say there are many uh, videos on the Gmodism channel lately, but it will of course drop down. Uh, we had some really funny Battlefield 2 session where Lieutenant Power by Greed jumped in and uh, was acting co-pilot. That was a great time. If you haven't watched that, I would really recommend you check that out if you want some Midnight Sun helicopter with co-pilot action. That could be fun too. But until next time, I'll be back on Gymodism channel, Gymodism relaxation and Gymodism regular channel which you are watching right now. Um, but Lemios is indeed not dealing damage, does... Oh, no, we're not. Now, nah, it's just maneuvering itself away. I think maybe the Bartholomeus would have been able to win this battle if uh, the maneuvers were set up in a better way. But right now, it's just not really doing that, does it? In any case, thanks a lot for watching. This is your host, Jim Odesim, and I am signing out. I'll be seeing you next time. So, until then, bye-bye.